Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Thoughts Gaming. Today, we will be doing another, well, our first Jack Spotlight. So, if you guys don't know what that is, it's just a Jack that is a Jack, I guess. <laughs> so, the Jack is called Mega Pump Rocket Golem Dragon, because that really some of the cards that I have. That it has. I can't talk. Uh, Night Witch Rocket, Pump, Stabby Gobs, Golem. Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, and Log. You can replace the Night Witch, the Witch, or the Love Hound. You can replace the Rocket with the Fireball if you want, but that would just make the attack really terrible. You can't really replace Pump. I can't think of anything. Stabby Goblins, you, you already have them. They're from Training Camp. So yeah. Golem, you can replace with Lava Hound, but then it's still bad, because then you're just making an, another air tank, which we already have on the Baby Dragon. And don't replace the baby dragon with the infernal dragon because you're gonna make it really terrible. The so mega minion, you can replace that with minions. Log, you can replace that with zap. So I'm actually on my bad account right now. Uh, the average elixir cost is, wait, oh yeah, this is wrong because I don't have the night witch or the, or the log on this, on my bad account. But I did replace the log with the zap and the night witch. The witch. So, we're actually gonna hop into a training match and then an actual match. So, training match, go. I can't really show you guys it because, yeah, the audio, well, the, there's technical issues, that's all I'm gonna say. And plus, this is take two because I didn't say earlier because I recorded the first time and I was not recording because it wasn't plugged in. Baby Dragon Town. He just arrowed my king tower. <laughs> it's so funny watching trainers play. Well, there we go. Baby dragon. Mega minion to defend that balloon. Not gonna be that good, but okay. It's fine. Mega minion surviving that bomb. We're gonna go rocket. Well, you don't. You want. You don't want to rocket like a tower just plainly. You only use it like in overtime or when you're really close to winning he just arrowed a witch okay then but yeah so you're always going to place your golem in the back behind the king tower obviously you don't want to place it in like right at the bridge i just did that elixir pump in the corner or in front of your king tower directly he is he really going to is he really going to be that stupid he tried goblin barreling my king tower and now he just zapped it he did like pretty much no damage. Oh, baby dragon so quick. I want my baby dragon to die right now. <laughs> it's cause, well, he's almost dead. It's good. Good thing. Well, now he's behind the goal, so that's good. It's also good. I'm gonna rock at my own king tower because I'm gonna win. I know not to do that. Zap my own king tower for no reason, just to cycle. And then goblins just to cycle. There's a bunch of cycle cards in this deck if you guys already haven't noticed. Wait, what? And yeah, I just got a three crown, obviously. To Trainer Marty from Royal Trainers. So some of you, some of you guys were asking me like, what clan are you in? Why did you quit collab mobs? Why did you do that? Why did you do this? What arena are you in on your bad account? So I'm gonna answer all of those questions right now. So clan Castro four clan tag is two p eight y o g g g. That's on my bad account. My good account is still in the same clan. And then I'm act. I was actually in arena seven with my bad account with the trophy high of two thousand one hundred and nine. And then hashtag trophy death spiral all the way back down now to arena six at nineteen twenty six trophies. And I actually dropped even more. I just played some. And then went back up. So there's actually a lot of stuff to do. So I'm actually going to stop there. So actual battle. Boom. I hope we win this. Good luck. Plan C, which is Cryface. Plan 1, which is double thumbs up. And then you don't actually have to place your elixir pump. Like, yeah, but you should. So I'm going to not do that and see if I win. Only for my first push. I'm going to put it. Wait. What was that goblin barrel? <laughs> it's so funny when people put goblin barrels like on the back behind your king tower. I'm just kidding, they didn't do that, but he like he put a goblin barrel like behind everything. 
well, beside my Chrono Tower, obviously. So my favorite push using this deck right now is like Golem, Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, or Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, and the Witch. He just raised his King Tower. Okay. Not the best thing to do. So after your Golem dies, your Baby Dragon should tank for the Golemites. If you have a Baby Dragon behind that. But yeah, if you don't, then too bad. Two witches are just facing off right now. Okay, we're gonna go goblins to defend that. I know where he's gonna put it. Boom. There are no t no damage done to my tower. 1958 tower hit points right now. Golem at the river. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, there is no river on Builder's Workshop. So yeah. Wait. Well, where were those fire spirits? Okay, I'm on I'm on max elixir. I have to do something or else I'm gonna be wasting elixir because that's what it is. You're wasting elixir when you're not doing anything. And you're at 10. You're just sitting there at 10. Or standing. But I'm sitting right now, so, yeah. And then, the Mega Minion just died. Okay, what is this with... I mean, what is this... I can't talk. What is this witch doing? Zap that Skarmy. I'm actually just gonna defend now. I feel like it. Even though I hate defending normally. Baby Dragon, do work, do work, do work, do work. Do work, do work, do work, do work. Do work. What's a do work? I'm actually gonna have to push because he did some serious damage on my tower. 1202 right now on my crown tower. Terrible wizard placement from him, so that's good for me. My witch was splashing. And then baby dragon. Where, where did that battle ram come from? I thought he already used eight cards or like nine. Okay, can, I'm gonna have to push because he's he's just taking the tower with two barbs. Rocket down a bar. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I'm gonna have to witch the witch. Wait, what? Goblins the goblin barrel. Zap. Oh, oops, I missed my zap. It's okay. I have my witch and baby dragon doing work. And then okay, we're gonna actually hop into overtime. It's cool. I guess. I think I'll use my golem once. Witch defending go gob goblins. Goblins defending goblins. Sounds so weird. Goblins defending. Yeah, my goblins were defending. <laughs> goblins. But yeah, I have been using the motor mauler with a few tweaks because of the skeletons. So sad. But yeah, so I'm going to continue this match with a rocket and goblins and zap just to cycle back to my rocket because that's what I'm doing right now. That's what you should do actually in triple elixir, not in normal elixir. Okay, if we get a three crown draw, I'm going to laugh so hard. Good game, well played. And then witch, goblins. If he actually thinks he's going to win, then yeah, because it's going to be a draw. Yep. Draw, I was going to win, because 922, 1, 3, 4, 2 on his towers. And then I can't see mine, because it just covered it up with the banners. So my clan normally gets, like, 4 out of, well, I mean, 10 out of 10. I'm at 4 out of 10 right now for my clan. And then we have a bunch of really good players. Like, our first three players were in like really good leagues but then they all but then hashtag league season reset well season reset season league i can't talk boom just i'm just, I'm just gonna say season reset and season reset they all had to go back down to like arena 11 i think yeah they reset got back down to four thousand wait what Then they dropped 200 trophies. I don't know what happened, but yeah. Boom. So I have been using the Mortar Mauler in deck slot too. Uh, that, well, with, I told you with a few tweaks. So I after tweaking it, I made a Mortar, Mini P.E.K.K.A., Archers, Wizard, the Goblin Barrel, Zap, Tombstone, and the Minion Horde. I'm going to feature that in a later episode. Until next time, peace out.